Where was the other one? I photographed it. That won't be on Instagram messages. Oh, you're not ah! it! Yeah. I've been all around the world. Oh, oh, Main Street, you Every city, every place. Oh. She's oh. evil. And I've got, I don't wear glasses really. Hello. <laughs> I just put these cosmetic ones on to like to make add you, to make to you the look picture. smart. Because I'm very smart. Right? <laughs> what do you mean look smart? Right. I'm trying to okay. get things. Right? So welcome to our Q and A. Why are you in the centre and I'm at the edge? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Not easy to hold. We need something on the so, table to rest it. That's okay. We'll, okay. we'll make well, it. Because we've got to turn it okay. off to get the questions every now and then. Okay. Okay. So, here we are at Magic Kingdom. And on both of our Insta stories, we asked you guys for questions. We said we were going to do a Q&A since we were here at Magic Kingdom together. Um, which was a big surprise for her. She, she didn't jumped know, me. She, she didn't know me. we were going to be Imagine together. Imagine you just come through security at Epcot. I don't like me with the glass on. We just come through security at Epcot, and um, you're in a rush to get to the, the entrance bit where you, you scan your magic bands. I'm coming off the camera. Here. Have you noticed? Oh, my arm. My arm, and, my arm keeps uh, moving. And um, don't make there it. There we go. There we go. Right. I got it. And. Um, some, someone literally just jumped out on me. I did, I came from behind a building. And you know, because I hadn't got my glasses on, I couldn't yeah, actually see. Oh, oh, that's what it was. I could tell by her face she was totally oh, confused. Like, who's that, who's that? Because she messaged me in the morning saying, my best friend's there, she's got something for you. But I didn't say, what does she look like? And I didn't say, what's her name? Yep, because I we didn't were in give a any info. Yeah. Didn't give her any info, so she had no idea. This stuff there. No, no idea whatsoever. So, where was I? Questions. Oh, yes. So, we asked you guys some questions and you've sent us some questions. Oh, and by the way, you will get to see her expression when I post um, the vlog because I was, did have the camera on the entire time. Now, I know I moved the camera around a lot. I don't know what quality you're going to get, but you'll get her expression. It was complete confusion. And then it was just like, you know, this, what? what? She's here? What? Well, here's her? So, all right, so for if questions. it's a bad camera angle, it's the angle, and I'm, I'm really a lot younger and a lot slimmer. Me too. <laughs> yeah, me too. Like yeah, so friends. across from us, we have Lakeland and Savannah, and yeah, every now and then we get nods and, and the roll of eyes yeah. and, and looks. Mm -hmm. But okay, so go ahead and ask the first question. Right. Disney and a 66 said, it was a question for us both, who has the most pins and which pin is your favourite? So who has the most pins? That must be you. I don't, I don't know. know. Do you? I have no idea how many I have because I've totally lost track and I don't even know what I have anymore. Um, how many do you think? I don't even know how many I think I have. Do you have an idea of how many you think you have? See, all mine, I've got four pin books, three are quite full, okay. and I've got two and a half pin books, and I've got a pin mail box, so I know where all mine are, but do you know where yours all are? I, they, I, now I do, I didn't at one did, point, so because I had a whole bunch of bags that I haven't vlogged, and I still have a whole bunch that I haven't vlogged the hauls, and, but at least I now have them in one container, other than the ones that I have displayed around the house. I would um, think you do because you've been doing it a long time. I would, I mean, actually, I would think we would probably have maybe about the same. How long have you been collecting? Seriously, not very long. I mean, I would, yeah, it, it's only been in the last year and a half that I've been more serious. So we, we probably about have the same amount. And as a so. favorite pen, I can't even tell you off the top of my head. Because if I tell you, as soon as I tell you, I'll go, oh no, I, I remember this one. Oh no, I got this one. So. I know what mine is. Okay, go. It's a small world, it's one of my collections, and I'll never be a completist ever, because there's just too many. But no, we fun. won't, either one of us, no. because we'll be fighting for the same pets. Yes. I'm not gonna because tell you the I... live sales. <laughs> I'll keep them secrets. <laughs> I mean, that's where I get all mine. Evidently, we're just not watching the same live sales. So, um, <laughs> um, uh, 
not when you're watching. Um, <laughs> Luckily, we're not watching the same no, live no. Santa, so we would be both be like, no. <gasps> get in for yeah, Karen, get <laughs> And then be um, like, oh, she got you hag. Can you, imagine, can you imagine if we're actually competing each other on an the auction? Same ones. So lucky for us, we, we do don't. not know. Yeah. We don't watch yeah, the so same live right. sales. So, so right. thank goodness. <laughs> But the favourite pin is from the DSSH wedding pin series and it was the Carla Nelly wedding pin. Aww. And that's because it reminds me of me and Phil and it's a love story and he'd do anything for her. And Savannah's yeah. sitting in the corner rolling her arms. No, <laughs> Savannah's sitting there with a tear running down her cheek. It's so sweet. And it's noisy because we came somewhere we thought it was quiet and it's actually Sorcerer Smithy's what, Sorcerer and Mickey. Yeah. Plus I'm hearing like the music bagpipes. in the background is the bagpipes are louder now than they were. Um, so we'll probably put the camera down between each question so that my arm doesn't go down. <laughs> Next question. How what was the question again? Um, how often? How many times a year do you get to Disney World? So I, and actually I think we caught that question several times, so um, we'll just answer it once. And last year was the most I've ever been in one year, and that was nine times. That's not nine. gonna happen again. Nine. Yeah, nine times. In 2018 yeah, was, or yeah, nine times. So, but before, before we started coming regularly, we actually only came every, once every other year. And it wasn't until 2015 that we started coming more often. So why did you, what turned you to come more often? Money. There was a little more. Huh? <laughs> no, that's honest, isn't it? But yeah, I mean, we yes, would have got here more. And the other reason is because when they were younger, it used to be we would have to bring everybody. And now that they're older and doing their own things and their feelings don't get hurt, if one child comes over another, I've been nine times. Nobody else in the family's yeah. been that times. Because I break it up. You guys know Tom and I will come on a trip. Lakeland and I will take it. Yeah. So we always split it up. No, and right. that's why. So, and what about you? This year it's crazier. I, I am having a crazy year. I thought I did crazy year last year. But this year, this is already my fourth Disney trip. Third time to Magic Kingdom and the other one was to Tokyo, to Disneyland. Yeah. So that's four and I've got another three, but one of them, the next one, is actually, I'm here for 26 nights. Yep, 26 nights. And we'll be together again. And we'll be together, and we'll be together for five days, yes. the two of us. Heaven help Walt Disney World. Yeah, we exactly. We need to warm them, Exactly. We? Because we're tame today, because yeah, we have we, two of our yeah, kids with us. Two minors. Yeah, so next trip, yeah. Yeah. Watch out. One. Yeah. And then and then we'll come back for Star Wars opening and also for Christmas. Yeah. So, and I and I've got some more trips planned, um, but just haven't announced them yet. So I'm gonna keep the suspense. Oh, are going. you? Oh, yeah. Okay. She's keeping the suspense going. Yeah, keep the suspense. <laughs> All right. We're gonna look up our next question. All right. So our friend Mitzi has asked a question, and it is, how many attractions have you both been on together? day and which one was your favorite so we've actually been together all day which was not my plan I figured we would spend a couple hours together and they may have had already plans but we were able to change fast passes and and um, it wasn't gonna get away that easy after coming all this way <laughs> So, um, so, what did we ride? so how many, so we didn't ride anything at Epcot. Now Lakeland and Savannah rode test track while we were in line to get pins. But then, um, so we have rode, well Karen didn't ride Space Mountain. Lakeland, Savannah and I rode Space Mountain. But we rode Haunted Mansion together. We rode People Mover. We did Hall of Presidents. Small World. A small World, and we're getting ready to do Thunder Mountain. Uh, Little Mermaid. Oh, and yeah, and Little Mermaid, and that's all we've that's ready. That's it? Yeah, that's it. That's it? And I'm going to say it hasn't happened yet, but the Thunder Mountain is going to be our favorite because we're going to all laugh at her. <laughs> that's what souvenir is a must? Um, um, Tessa's first upcoming trip to Disney World. It's gonna be a spirit jersey. Um, do you think? 
Jersey. I oh, for her to get. Yeah. Okay. At Jersey. first, I thought what was uh, my must, and my must yeah. is always if they come out with a popcorn bucket, I'm getting a popcorn bucket. Um, I don't you know, Jersey. a souvenir that's a must. I think it just is gonna be a photo pass. If you don't get photo pass, oh, yeah, that's um, one. if you end up not getting it then purchase one of the ride photos. I think, because is this her first trip? Yes. So yes. So yes, Tessa, if you're, if you're in the UK, I don't know, I can't remember, sorry. If you're in the UK, let's click on and see if it tells me. No. I would, yeah. I don't think, I, I, well, I don't know. If you're in the UK, you get the photo pass free with your tickets. If you're well, America, I know that. Yeah, if you're in America, you, you buy them. Yeah, and so, it's not cheap. No. So if you're not going to get the photo pass, and it, and it looks like you have young kids, so I'm almost, if you can do it, do it so you will have those memories. So to me, um, those okay. memories mean more than something materialistic. I would photo pass. Did I go blurry? Yeah, and by doing that, it actually focuses you again. Did you know that? Yes, that but I didn't know I went blurry. Yeah. I wasn't looking. And the best tip we can give you is when you're having photos done, ask them if they've got a magical moment. Because otherwise, they'll just take a normal photo. If you ask for a magical moment, they summon up Tinkerbell or Figment and they appear in the photo yeah. with you by magic. So that, that would be something to ask. If you don't ask, they don't always volunteer it. And then, if that's out of the question, for the kids when they were younger, um, we they got to pick one, the girls got to pick a mini, Lakeland picked a Mickey each trip, and they actually still have it. I kept the tags on it, and I wrote like, Lakeland's first trip, blah, blah, uh, you know, 2010, or 2007. And then the next trip, you know, like on second trip, 2010. So we would always know which plush they got on which trip. They don't do that anymore because they come too often. But when they were younger, that, and they picked out which one they wanted. That was a souvenir. So, which treats must you try? So, I'm not a huge Disney treat person, but the waffle Nutella fruit at Sleepy Hollow is definitely my favorite. I haven't tried that one yet. And that, that is my, and most people are going to tell you a Dole Whip or a Mickey bar, but you can find a Mickey bar at a grocery store. You can get a pretzel anywhere. See, I like the Dole Whip with the pineapple oh, cake. Oh, with the pineapple cake. That's yeah, really lovely. That's good too. Um, so, and I'm not a big churro person, so that Nutella waffle fruit, and it's you could share it. It's big enough for a really good snack. And actually, I haven't ate, I've had it for a meal. Yeah. I've got to try that. So, now we have a cameraman. Lakeland's holding it now. Okay, so next question. <laughs> oh, my phone's gone off. Okay. okay. So, we have a few more questions. Okay, then. So, Teresa's got a burning question. Um, and she wants to know what their, our favorite guilty pleasure ride is. And not the one you tell everyone. <laughs> so you tell everyone you like figments. What? I don't know where she got that from. I do actually like figments. Um, my, but my guilty pleasure, and I'll tell anybody, is um, people mover. Just because it's so relaxing, I get to see everything from above, and I like to people watch. So, and I'll tell everybody that. I'm trying to think, is there something, and it's a, a lot of people don't like It's a Small World, and I love It's a Small World. So that's a guilty pleasure too. What's yours? <laughs> I'm just looking at you trying to think. Um, She's like, Dana, talk more so I have more time to think. See, my guilty pleasure is my favorite ride. Is that right? No, guilty, but well, not necessarily. It can be your favorite ride. Yeah, it's. See, I like pirates because I like to go on there and go, like ho, ho, ho. It's about Everum for me. I wish y'all could see some. I'm gonna. This is Savannah. Okay, so Savannah's just kind of sitting here, and then Karen did the whole pirate thing, and she's like, <laughs> "That is exactly what she did." I do on the rise. Are we moving in the picture? <laughs> it's your, you're being delusional. Yeah, I'm being delusional again. Uh, okay. okay, so that's that one, right? Um, I am team. Would like to know what attractions have you never been Ooh, on? Good one. Uh, so what have you never been on? 
more than this is endless. Oh yes, we can. Uh, um, Expedition Everest. Rock and roller coaster. Space Mountain. Rock and roll. I am a chicken. What did you just say? Space Mountain. Space Mountain. Rock. Uh, Tara Terra. Epcot. I haven't been. Oh, Epcot. I'm. I'm quite good. Have you been on Mission Mission Space? Yeah. I. Okay. I have done Epcot. I am an Epcot survivor. Um, here it would be Space Mountain, Animal Kingdom, it's Yeti, Hollywood Studios, Rock and Roller Coaster, Tower Terror. Tower Terror, yeah, okay. I think that's it, isn't that's it? it? Yeah, yeah. that's about it. I have ridden everything. Now, I will not ever ride Mission Space again. I can say I've ridden it, and it's not because it made me sick, it's because I'm extremely claustrophobic. Yeah. And, to, and being that closed in, I don't do well. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else I don't? ride Everest I just have to take Dramamine because it goes backwards so I don't ride that when I'm solo here by myself Tom and I don't ride it every time but when normally with it's just like when he likes it so much I'll ride it take the Dramamine yeah I'll do it um, but yeah every attraction every ride um, you brave. I've done it all yeah very brave yeah okay then so then Jazzy Tibel Pins wants to know what is your must get pin from the upcoming Epcot pin events yep. and your catalogue of major ISO or in search of. In yeah. search of. In search of. So um, if you didn't know, we're both going to the Epcot annual pin event yep. in August. Oh, we got best in the show. Ask Thanks. us why. Ask us why. Um, I actually, it was a random waiting room. They pulled people out of the um, virtual queue randomly and I was actually number 33 30. they only had a hundred people that could be best in show and if your number is pulled out you can have one you can sign up one other person so I signed up for her. <laughs> so we're both best in show um, so the must for me I'm really into like promotional logo type pins so the two basically the logo pins from the event are the pins that I think I want the most and Nano. Okay. I do want Nano. Yeah, those I'm just those are the types of pins I collect. I collect the more um, event pins, holiday pins, and anything that looks like a Disney movie poster or some type of poster. So those are mine and I would love to get the it's a small world frame set, but it's over three hundred dollars. For me, that's the one I want. Yes. Um, because I've now decided on my collections, that's really the one I want. I'm going to order the others, and I've got lots of friends that want them, but what I'm going to actually do is wait, see what they're like in my hand, and I might suddenly have a dog collection. <laughs> but we don't know until we get there. Yeah, you got to see them. In it's, it's a lot different when you see them in person. I learned that last year. But that's the one, I've only done, I'm going to do the one box set, I think, so yeah. Um, what is your biggest pin collection as of right now? Mine would definitely be um, the holiday pins and the party pins, whether it be Mickey's Not So Scary, Halloween Party, the Christmas Party, which I've never been to, but those are the pins I collect. So holiday pins are probably definitely my biggest collection. For me, it's the up pins. We're actually at an angle at the moment. It looks like we've been on the beer. There we go. Our, um, <laughs> are you going to sleep lately? Okay. Oh, let's rub his head. There you go. We're now rubbing his head. We're stroking his head. We're pretending he's one of the dogs at the fairy tales event. Do you like that? Okay. <laughs> Remember Dennis Healy when he used to laugh when he used to go, that's what his shoulders have just been doing. Um, for me, it's definitely your. Okay. Um, I've just, even though we're away and we should have been in the Dominican Republic and we ended up here with everything that's going on there, it's the up collection and what I did was I was trading by the ball because all the Paris pins and what have you come out and uh, yeah, I was able to trade for a lot of pins. So it's up and I'm absolutely oh. thrilled. Okay, Savannah. What question do you have for us? You should have seen her face like, what? 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 She's on, she's on Instagram, and, and Lakeland, 
what question do you have for us? Like He's first. like a deer in the headlights. What? What? Oh, go on, you go on, go on then. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite Disney park and why? Favorite Disney park and why? So mine is no doubt Magic Kingdom because that is just the original and it opened in 1971. Which was a bad year. Which we all know was, was my birth year. <laughs> I'm vintage. <laughs> You're vintage. <laughs> I'm only 27. So I, actually, I really am vintage. I'm 60. <laughs> I show it so well. Good face masks. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've got two, and um, I'm not sure which it is. It's either California because it was Walt's Park and he was there. Or Tokyo because it was amazing, but I don't know if that's fair because I come here so often. It's coming home, so it's not exactly new. We don't get a map, we know where everything is. Whereas the other ones I didn't, so maybe it's not so fair. But at the moment, they're the ones I dream of going back to because we're always here, so this is home. Whereas if I couldn't come here, I dream of coming here. All right, Lakeland, what's your question? I don't know.